Hello everyone, I am Shiny Chatterjee. Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I am back again with a new civil engineering video. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Shiny Chatterjee and press the bell icon for instant updates. Today we will learn the different type of loads acting on any RCC structure. So let's start the video. First of all, we will see what are the different type of loads which are expected on any structure. Dead load, live load, wind load, snow load and seismic load. Dead load is also known as the self weight of the structure. Live load is also called as the imposed load and seismic load is also called as the earthquake load. Now we will see all of these five types of load in detail. So considering this structure, you can see the dead load which is acting downwards, the wind load which is acting on the structure, the live load which is acting on the floors and also at the roof, the seismic load or earthquake load which is acting on this structure in x and y direction. For the structures which are located in the region where snowfall is common, you have to also consider the snow load. The first one is dead load. Dead load of any structure is a permanent load which is always present in the structure. It is due to the self weight of the structure itself. Now suppose we are considering a residential building. The dead load includes the self weight of the walls, the floors, beams, columns and also some of the permanent fixtures present in the structure. Dead load of any structure depends upon the unit weight of the material. The unit weights of commonly used building materials are given in IS code IS 875 part 1 1987. A civil engineer while designing any building or any structure should refer IS 875 part 1 1987 for the unit weights of commonly used building materials. Some of them are listed below. Unit weight of plain cement concrete is 24 kN per meter cube. Reinforced cement concrete is 25 kN per meter cube. For steel it is 78.5 kN per meter cube. For ordinary Portland cement, it is 14.1 kN per meter cube. For marble, it is 26.7 kN per meter cube. And for glass, it is 27 kN per meter cube. Next type of load is live load or imposed load. Live load on the floors and the roofs consists of all the loads which are temporarily placed on the structure. The residents or inhabitants of the building, the furnitures, and machineries inside the building are the examples of live load. Live load is also known as imposed load and the various type of imposed loads that are coming on any structure are given in IS 875 part 2 1987. Now I will tell you the minimum live load which you have to consider after referring IS 875 part 2. For a kitchen in a dwelling house, UDL load will be 2 kN per meter square. For bathrooms and toilets in any type of building, the UDL load will be considered as 2 kN per meter square. For living rooms and bedrooms in a residential building, UDL load will be 2 kN per meter square. For office rooms in hotels, hospitals and business building with separate store, it is 2.5 kN per meter square. For classrooms in schools, colleges and institutions, the UDL load is 3 kN per meter square. For X-ray rooms and operation theater in a hospital, the UTL load is taken as 3 kN per meter square. For reading rooms in libraries with separate storage, the UTL load is 3 kN per meter square. The next very important type of load is the wind load. Wind load is a very important load which has to be considered while designing any building. The force which is exerted by the horizontal component of wind is to be considered while designing any building. It depends upon the velocity of wind and shape and size of the building. The method of calculating the wind load on any structure is given in IS 875 part 3 1987. The fourth type of load is 
snow load. The buildings which are located in the regions where snowfall is a very common criteria. Such buildings in those areas are to be designed for snow load. The IES code that is IES 875 part 4 1987 deals with the snow load on roofs of the building. And the last most important type of load is the seismic load. Earthquake load or seismic load depends upon the place where the structure is located. As per IS 1893 2002 part 1, our country India is divided into four seismic zones. That is seismic zone 2, 3, 4 and 5. While designing any structure, if we don't consider earthquake load, the design is incomplete. Our city Kolkata is located in seismic zone 3 and the zone factor is 0 0.16. That's all for today. Thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and share it with your friends. Meet you all soon in a new civil engineering video.